We've discovered a signal. She can feel it. Kong. Godzilla. They can feel it, too. Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. Uma grande batalha se aproxima e dessa vez será preciso unir forças para deter uma gigantesca ameaça. Só o poder de duas criaturas fantásticas pode salvar o mundo. E aí, já tá sentindo a terra tremer? É Godzilla e Kong chegando nos cinemas. Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. Kong e o temível Godzilla vão precisar unir forças para defender a humanidade e criar um império. E com a ajuda de uma equipe para lá de especial, eles vão enfrentar uma batalha de proporções épicas para salvar o mundo, como sempre. E claro, fazendo muita bagunça por aí, como você nunca viu. E é óbvio que a gente não ia deixar de contar para vocês tudo sobre a estreia do novo filme do Monsterverse. A gente conversou com o elenco e o diretor para saber mais sobre essa aventura espetacular. Vem comigo viajar para o centro da Terra Oca com dois dos maiores, literalmente, guias que você pode encontrar. Eu sou a Valentina Pugarin e esse é o Inside Warner Godzilla e Kong, um novo império. Why do you think it's so entertaining to see monsters in battle sequences? Is it the punches? Godzilla knocking Kong over a pyramid? What is it? I think it's because the fight scenes are so big. You know, especially the pyramid scene, people enjoy it. It's like, oh my gosh, it looks like they're there and I want to maybe go there. It, it's a real place that, and we can apply, when those monsters fight there, these are real places and we can go and visit those places too. I need to go to an IMAX movie theater to watch the real sequence again. For you, Brian, what is that scene in the movie that you feel like it's worth it to go to an IMAX to watch it? There's a scene where you watch all of us in this wonderful vehicle called the Heave, <laughs> and there is a portal that you have to go through in order to get there. And when scene. I tell you that, like, to watch it on the big screen, <laughs> you will truly feel like you're going oh. down. And then that's the, the that's the testimony to Adam's filmmaking because we're shaking our faces and going, you know. And I promise you, if you're watching in the theater, you're going to feel like you're going to Hollow Earth with us, which I think is exactly what Adam wanted. And it's It's one of those that you, you just have to experience in the theaters. Yeah. You feel like going for a ride? I thought you'd never ask. Just try not to swallow your tongue. What? back to Australia to shoot this, right? Mm -hmm. What is it about those studios over there that makes this kind of movie possible? Well, I mean, for our film, it, we, we, we needed some very specific locations. We knew we needed some beach locations and some jungle, and we knew we needed big stages. We had a couple urban environments, and honestly, it was all right there. And and so it was kind of a no-brainer. I'd, I'd shot Godzilla vs. Kong most of the film in Gold Coast, so I knew what they had to offer, and have great crews yeah. there, and so um, they we, have everything. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of designed it almost to be there. E se engana quem pensa que a gente só tem Kong e Godzilla de outro mundo nesse filme, tá? Nesse quinto filme do MonsterVerse, a gente tem também a presença de um mini Kong e também do vilão, o Sky King. E a gente também tem os clássicos, o Mothra e o Shimo. Acredita que em 2024 Godzilla tá fazendo 70 anos de idade? Pois é, gente. O primeiro filme do Godzilla foi lançado em 1954 e mesmo depois de 38 filmes do Godzilla, o novo longa traz cenas de briga e porradaria como a gente nunca viu. Also, when the trailer came out, I feel like everyone freaked out when we saw that pink colored plates of the Godzilla and I felt like that was a nod to the Miragoji design from Godzilla 2000. What other homages 
uh, you got to do to this 70 years of Godzilla history in the movie? <laughs> well, there's there's some pretty strong Showa era um, homages in the film. I mean, the uh, like some of the things that Godzilla is known for doing in the 70s are pretty over the top. And while we couldn't just you know, flat out have Godzilla, you know, start drop kicking people. I think we did find really clever ways to ground some uh, some pretty crazy moves from Godzilla. Um, it's kind of hard to be specific since we haven't really shown some of that stuff in the trailer, but it, it's in there. I mean, my influence is really um, our strongest from the Showa era series. And, um, and, and so I think that comes through quite a bit in, in lots of different ways, even just, you know, subtly in the color palette, you know, that, that kind of, vibrant technicolor um, kind of psychedelic feel I think comes through. They don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. Now I have seen everything. Why do you think Godzilla keeps making people go to the movies even after 70 years of existence? Because he's just so cool and everything and people want to see him in the movies. He's iconic. You know, and now he's on a road to something new. His character and everything is evolving and people can also connect through him and to him as a character. I think it's a bunch of stuff. I think that there's there's the sheer familiarity of it at a certain point, you know, like the more that these characters crop up in the, myth, the mythology of our culture, the more that you want to be a part of that and make sure that you see every installment. So there's that element. They're also fun, they're also good and also, they are the same, in the same way that we've always been fascinated in beasts and mythical creatures, you know. For as long as there's been stories, there have been monsters, and this is just the natural progression of that idea for humans, but with better tech and CGI. It gets us together. <laughs> they bring us together, which is the craziest together. thing, is like, they bring us together. What we really want of this movie is that it brings people back to the theaters yes. to really come together, yeah. to really be able to like crane their necks up and scream and laugh and have a good time. It's, it's one of those movies that has, has done that for decades. Yeah. So we just wanted to add on to that tradition. The Titans were the guardians of nature. And the great apes became the protectors of humanity. Bom, eu não quero dar muito spoiler aqui para vocês, mas digamos que esses dois conseguiram dar uma passadinha pelo Brasil durante o filme. E eu quis saber do diretor de onde veio a ideia de incluir o Brasil como cenário de uma batalha colossal. You're always trying to find really cool iconic locations to juxtapose the monsters that, uh, with and uh, and Rio is just such a perfect one and especially you know in the context that we had this you know kind of ice um, monster you know it was it was a nice you know kind of contrast to that we actually shot some of the footage in Brazil we, we did all of our actual plate photography there um, uh, specifically for the movie and um, and we shot some reaction stuff there's it's there's a bit of a, a combination of some stuff we shot in Gold Coast and then we augmented and changed the background so that um, the coastline of the oh. beach matches Rio and and then the rest of it we actually uh, did in Rio. How was it for you when you saw so much of Rio de Janeiro in an epic battle over there? I, I, I want to come to Brazil so badly. Yeah. I currently, my cast member that I just filmed with, Wagner Mora, is from Brazil. And all he kept saying is like, you need to come to Brazil. Yeah, you will love it. it. The Bra Brazilians will love you. And I was like, sign me up. So I know, Ryan. And I mean, if you walk with Wagner Mora here, I mean, you are I know. a king yeah. here, okay? I, I mean, <laughs> just I'm, so you know, I just so you know. So much, You're coming. So, I know, yeah, I'll come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. yeah. I know you are. Hey, what are you telling me? Oh. Where's he going? Godzilla won't come down here unless Kong brings him. Essa dupla chega nos cinemas em 28 de março e você não pode perder uma aventura épica nas telonas. E também, gente, não esquece de seguir a Warner Channel nas redes sociais para você não perder nenhuma novidade, tá bom? Eu sou a Valentina Pulgarim e esse foi o nosso Inside Warner, Godzilla e Kong, o novo império.